I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I love the females out here in this world, though. Man. You know, the thing is, my favorite part about a lady, though. You know, fellas, tell me if you're with me on this. You know what I mean? Like the first time you get a girl naked. <laughs> <laughs> Why you mad? Cause I'm looking right at you. Why, not, not you, 103rd. Not you. Not you, bro. I'm looking over that fedora comb over you got. I'm looking right at you. No, no, no. See, the thing is, I gotta fuck with you, bro. You wearing an argyle sweater with a fucking bow tie right now. I can't. I can't help it. I, can't, I gotta fuck with you. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. I love the ladies, though. I love the ladies, big time, man. You know what I mean? My favorite thing is when you get a girl naked for the first time and you see everything about her. All the quirks. All the crazy shit. All the stretch marks that you weren't supposed to see. <laughs> Fellas, like, if you make love to a girl for the first time in the dark, you think you at Disney World and shit, yeah? You're like, this is the shit. And then you take a shower together the next morning, like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> this ain't right. <laughs> what did I get myself into? <laughs> that's how it sad, though. Yeah, yeah. You, walk, you walk into the bathroom first, and you walk in right behind her, like, man, I'm about to do it. I pick up where I left off last night. What did it do? You take the towel off, like, Oh, shit, what did I get myself into? This <laughs> Boy, stretch, mark, stretch marks look like a road map and shit. Nah, I mean, you know, ain't nothing ain't, ain't no wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong, it's my point. Let me get back to my point. It's not my point, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I fuck with it. You know, I read Braille. It's not a, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. I know where you coming from. I read Braille. You know, I just read it with one eye open. I'll be like, uh-huh, okay, here we go. <laughs> so the thing is, you know, I love when a woman gets naked for the first time, man. It's like the craziest, you know, it's like the hardest my dick ever been in my life. It's like the first time it gets, you know, the dick be like, what is going on here? I want to see. Ah, I only got one eye. Point me in the right direction. I want to see. Ah, I be like, relax. I'll guide you there. Take her clothes off. You know what I mean? Tell me, tell me if this is right or if this is wrong. You know what I mean? Think about when a woman takes her clothes off for the first time, she takes her bra off. You see them thangs. You see how they swang. And sometimes she got what you call a lazy titty. You know? Not all the time. I'm just saying sometimes. Not all the time. You know? In case y'all don't know what a lazy titty is, it's just like a lazy eye, but it's a titty. You know? <laughs> Same concept. It's like one titty looking right at you and the other titty got his own agenda. Screaming off to the side. You, you grab that other titty like, what the fuck is you doing? Get involved with the rest of us. Cause we trying to do something. Yeah. Gotta take that titty to lens crafters and shit. You gotta get her, you gotta get her a corrective bra and shit. They don't sell those everywhere, a corrective bra. Well, one nipple pointing this way and the other nipple just all up to the side and shit. She got the other nipple under her armpit and shit like, yeah, there we go. There we go. You like me now? You like me now? You, you like this is what I'm asking. It's a lazy titty. It's a lazy titty, don't I? I'm saying though, if your girl got a lazy titty, raise your hand. Where are all the brave motherfuckers at? The brave motherfuckers Woo! at? Ah, uh, see, my dad put his hand up. That ain't right. That ain't right. You know, see, you know, that's the thing, man. I invite my dad to the show. He gonna put his hand up when I say who got a lazy titty and shit. Is that cool? I don't think so. My dad gave me the best advice of my life, man. Straight the fuck up. Gave me the best advice of my life. I was talking to my mom one day, right? She wanted a motherfucker to get married and ruin this shit. And that's what she wanted, you know? I was like, Mom, what do you think about marriage? Like, you know, think I'm too young? You think I'm too young? Should I do it? She's like, mijo, whatever your heart desires, whatever you want for your life, mijo, you're, you got to that point where you, you know, you decided what you want to do. You do what you want. I was like, thanks, Mom. I appreciate that shit. Pan right. <laughs> Dad, what you think about that shit? How you feel about marriage? He's like, mijo? Listen to your mom, and then he's slowly gonna creep back like, "Who's doing this shit right here? Twenty-seven years." <laughs> 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 I 
years, motherfucker, don't do it! And then my mom will look over and he's like, oh, what, get the fuck? No, 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 no. And stay again, and stay again, I love you. That's why he's gonna be my best man. Because when I get married and they say, does anybody have anything to say about this marriage right here? I know he's going to pull me on the shoulder like, hey, motherfucker, you really want to do this shit? You sure? This is forever. Okay? You see how much I'm suffering. Don't fucking do this shit. Before, you know? I mean, I love you, but I could have done without your ass. I guarantee you. <laughs> Tony Sparks, you all give me the light? I don't want to. That's what I'm saying. I was barely about to do the strip part of the show. I was going to take my sweater off. I was going to unbuckle my belt. Hey, you know what? Last time I was hella mad. Last time I was here, I was hella mad because the bartenders didn't have no Hennessy, man. What the fuck is up with that, man? Hey, Ray! Motherfuckers got Della Rosa. I got to drink this beer. Time in the soda. I'm trying to get wasted. Yes. You know what I mean? I work at a liquor store. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I work at a liquor store, man. I see crazy shit at a liquor store. I see people coming up to me at a liquor store. I see homeless people come up to me at a liquor store all the time. I don't know why they ain't got no fucking money. I don't even understand why the fuck they would come. They'd be like, hey, young buck, can I bum a cigarette? I'm like, motherfucker, you have no other option. You have to bum a cigarette. You have to. I'm certain you ain't gonna buy one, right? Don't even play me like that, bro. Just, you know, take this fucking cigarette, get the fuck out of my face, you smell like piss, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just trying to tell you what's happening. That's what I'm saying. Motherfucker smell like piss. I work out a liquor store, I see you little youngsters come up to me all the time and say crazy ass wild shit. You know, I don't get it. Hey, bruh, hey, 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 man, you got them pills? I'm like, what the fuck you talking about? You got them pills. I mean, you see, I'm at work. I'm not drug dealing right now. What the fuck you want from me? <laughs> nah, man, not those pills, man. I'm talking about those pills that get your dick up. I'm like, what? How old are you? <laughs> He's like, I'm 15. I'm like, dude, you 15 years old and you need pills to get your dick up? Are you serious? <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. When I was 15 years old, my dick was up one hour before I was every fucking day. I <laughs> Right the fuck now. I wake up at 8.30 in the morning. My dick is up at 7.30 making eggs and shit. My dick is on the freeway calling me like, Blow, where the fuck are you at? Meet me at the pussy and ring the ball. Where the fuck are you at? We got shit to do. Like, fuck you, dick. Tell me what the fuck to do. Why do, why do men talk about, why do men love their dick so much, is what I'm saying. That's our, that's our second love. First love is mama. First love is mama. Second love is your own penis. I guarantee that. You don't love nothing more than that. It's my best friend. I don't have no kids, is what I'm saying. You know, because I'm not ready to fuck the world up yet. You know, I, that's why I ain't tainted this planet yet with my, my seed. You know, I ain't done that shit yet. But the, the man himself loves his penis more than anything else. I, I know nobody want to clap for that shit. I understand. Don't. Even if you want to, don't. I'm trying to get scientific on your ass. You know what I mean? You don't want to do that shit. Because the thing is, a man loves his dick so much... He, it's like his, it's like his, 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 his comrade, his, his buddy, everything. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't have no kids. I don't know what it's like to have that love, that deep affection for a child, for your own seed. I don't know what that's like. But I'm going to tell you right now, if my dick and my firstborn child were stuck in a burning house, <laughs> and I had to choose which one to get, oh, that baby's going to die. <laughs> I'm certain of it. <laughs> I'm gonna come downstairs like, where's the baby at? I'll be like, I don't know where the fuck the baby's at. But I had to get my dick. Because without my dick, there's no baby. You understand what I'm saying? We've been through everything together. I ride on Bart a lot, y'all. Tony, Tony Sparks, where's Tony Sparks at? I wanna, where's Tony Sparks at right now? No, nowhere? He left. He said, fuck Rudy O. All right? I'm going to the strip club. I got a gang of ones, man. I'm just trying to see where you ever... Now, my thing is, like, I tell ladies all the time, like, ladies, it's 2012, it ain't no problem, we can talk openly about this shit, it's okay. And I'm going to tell y'all how fellas feel, you know? Fellas, first and foremost, PSA, PSA, okay? If you see me with a beautiful woman, if you see me with a beautiful woman, and that's a big motherfucking if. <laughs> but if you see me with a beautiful woman, don't talk to me about sports. Do me that fucking favor, and don't talk to me about sports, please. 
Because people don't realize that is the biggest pussy deflector in the fucking <laughs> universe. You know, you start talking about fantasy football and shit, a woman be like, mm -mm, nah, I got all pretty for this motherfucker. <laughs> and he gonna talk about football, fuck that, you know what I mean? I swear to God, like, as soon as you start, about, start talking about football and shit that a woman don't care about, man, that pussy's gonna zip up like a sleeping bag. <laughs> and, and, and the cold part about it is that sleeping bag got the zipper on the inside, so you got no access to that motherfucker. He's just gonna be out in the woods, cold as fuck. Like, goddamn, if I can only get into this sleeping bag, you know? <laughs> Basically, what I'm saying is don't talk about don't talk about shit that's not interesting to women. You're working against your own dick, okay? That's why it's called contradiction. You, you understand what I'm saying? Ah! This, is, this is a grammar lesson. I'm trying to teach y'all something. <laughs> I'm an English major. <laughs> never been to high school, I've never been to college in my life, you know? I dropped out of college. Like, the books are too expensive. Fuck that. I'm not fucking with college. I gotta get a job. I gotta, I gotta have a college degree to get into college. Fuck college, you know? So what I'm saying is, like, ladies, ladies, so I threw my PSA out there for the fellas. Ladies, let me throw my PSA out there for yourselves, all right? It's 2012. We can talk about this shit. Brazilian waxes. I'm gonna just throw it out there, you know? Because the thing is, it's a trust issue. It's a trust issue, you know? Because I'm a man. You know, I take my pants off, everything just falls out. Okay? You see it all. There's no questions asked. You can slap it, wag it, tag it. You can examine the fuck out of it. I don't mind. I'm going to be like this. Mm -hmm. Proceed. Pro the fuck see. Yeah? I got no problem. But with a woman, though, y'all got so many crevices and creases and... You just need to shave it all off because, look, I'm Mexican, but I'm not going to take care of all your landscaping. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm getting at. That's what I'm getting at. You know? That's my off time. I can't be working on my off time. That shit ain't right. That shit ain't, that is not right. Because I got no problem going down on a lady. No problem whatsoever. No problem whatsoever. You know what I mean? Because I'm, like I said, you know, I've been eating tacos my whole life. You know what I mean? I go down there with half a radish and a bottle of Tabasco and I get to work. You know? I might not even come back. I might consider that shit a taco truck and just be the fuck out. You know? Three tacos and I'm fuck out of here. Black. And I know I shouldn't I know I shouldn't let one situation ruin it for all of y'all ladies out there. You know, I, I shouldn't let one situation ruin it. But I did. I did. I was with a girl. I was with a girl, hairy ass, shrubbery. She had shrubbery, is what I'm saying. She had shrub the fuckery, you know? And, uh, and I was down there, right? And I was licking it, right? And, uh, and that shit licked me back. And I thought that, I thought that shit was terrible. I said, bitch, that's rude. You didn't say it was gonna be a threesome, bitch, it was like a bulldog's tongue. All in my face and shit. Looked like a banana slug just crawled over my like, ah! <laughs> shit went right. <laughs> Shave it is what I'm saying. Because if I would have seen that tongue from the get-go, I'd be like, you know what? Let's just fuck. Let's just fuck. <laughs> I put the condom on. Where's you get to work? You know what I mean? Hey, y'all, before I get up out of here, I just want to let y'all know. Just like Gary was saying, Gary with his tight blue shirt on, looking like the dude who sells the Billy Tybo action. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, when he was doing his set, I was in the corner like, ah, ah, trying to get my, trying to get my abs right. Um, you know, I sell my DVDs, you know what I'm saying? I'll be right outside the establishment. I got DVDs for sale as well. You know, we all starving comics. We all starving comics, you know what I mean? I got Boy Meets World, Friends, seasons one through seven, and uh, Alf, you know what I mean? So fuck with me. Hey, y'all, my name is Rudy O. Thank you very much. Y'all was a comic soldier. Jim J. Bullock was on that shit. I want that. Uh, uh. Somebody drop some money on the floor, man. All right. Hey, uh, you know, you know, a nigga broke when you see shit on the 